Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. Hope we're having a great day today. Uh, I've decided to make some amendments to the chicken coop situation. You might notice we have a lot of construction happening right here, just over here by the uh, sheep. And uh, that's because I decided I don't want this up against the road. Uh, I do want to keep it consistent with everything else. And uh, so I'm moving most of the coops. Uh, we're going to have a, a little bit of a gap right here on these two because they have animals in them. So I'm just going to go ahead, basically, and uh, move the chickens to where, uh, you know, they're in a different coop as soon as these things are done building, basically. That's the, that's the plan. There we go. Okay, so I want to move all of you guys to, let's say, four. Oh, honestly, where's three? Why is three not in this list? Is it not done? Oh, I guess this is five. Fair enough. <laughs> I want to move... I see we have six chickens in here, so I want to move six chickens into coop number five. And then I want to pause it really quick here. So we're going to take and move you out of this and stick you in coop number five. There we go. Use organic food. Uh, I think it's just this for now. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. And then we have these chickens here. We're going to move those. There are seven of those, and we're going to stick those in coop number four. And then we're going to take you out of this one and stick you in coop number four. No. Let's let it go for just a little bit, I guess. There we go. Should have a guy right here. Oh, no. Is it out of... Okay, hold on. Is that out of range of where he lives? Yeah, that's the problem. So I, I need to find the guy that's not in anything. So there's these little icons over their faces. And one of these guys is not currently in any job probably somebody that lives over here i bet no they're over here somewhere okay that's interesting he's actually in this house but for some reason i can't assign him to that pen uh that's a little bit strange maybe it has to do with road connection no. interesting you know what fine we'll just hire somebody else and then we'll move him over we're gonna do a whole lot of this stuff anyway so um, let's hire Ellen here. We'll get her in there. And again, organic feed for the chickens, please. Okay. So all I got to do now is get this gravel road situated, right? Like that ought to do it. And, uh, now that we've moved all the chickens there, we're going to move these two buildings. And unfortunately, you just have to do that by demolishing and then rebuilding, which is effectively what you do with a move tool, but it would be kind of cool to just have the move tool do it. Uh, oh, well. Not a big deal. Okay. I've also got a silo placed here. And this is where, you know, the oats can, and stuff can just be stored. And these guys could go ahead and grab those out of here, uh, hopefully. All right. So now I'm going to have to buy some more chickens. And this guy, this chicken is not organic. Uh, we have one non-organic chicken. Well, maybe once he's fed the organic food. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I probably need a new place for these guys to live, though. Although they are covering... They are covering all the chicken coops. But there's a lot of chicken coops, right? And there's no space left in this one. So we have four more spots available. And absolutely more than four chicken coops. So I'm going to need another house. I've got 92000 bucks, So I'm going to place another one. I think right over here is a, a great place. Just as a way of sort of saying you can work anywhere in this area. Maybe even... I've been placing all the homes against the the main road, but really, I think I'm going to be buying this. And uh, I'll probably want some help managing that stuff. So why don't I stick this house? Uh, you know, I'm kind of thinking I'd stick it right here. Just right up against this. Now that I've left space, you know. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now, I would like to buy this land, like I said, um, and that is to extend cows because at the end of the, uh, in the last video, I was like, you know what? These guys are making so much and the cows are overpowered. No, if, if you read my pinned comment, I pin comments on almost every video, by the way. And if there's ever anything that I discover while I'm render, when I'm rendering or something I've discovered while I'm editing or whatever that I didn't say in the video, I usually put it in the pinned comment. So sort of like an FYI, if you happen to come into a video and you want to know, you know, 
I recommend checking the pinned comment. Okay, that's that's all that's all I'm saying. Anyway, um, I discovered that that's not the case. These are definitely not overproducing milk, uh, the cows, because these things are stalled out now. Um, they're producing it now, but they don't have nearly as much milk as they used to, and that's because I've actually moved these two warehouses to the sheep's milk. And I think the pacing is starting to get a little bit better. This one's still hung up. Um, but the, the, the point is we need more cows now, actually. So I, I just totally misconfigured that or mis, misjudged that. So I'm taking a look at the farm owner's house. If I want to buy more land, it is going to cost a lot. Uh, this is $94,000 for this plot of land. So it gets more and more pricey as you go. huh? And... Uh, yeah, so I said I think instead of doing that, I do have some extra land over here, and I should use it the best I can. So I know it's not as organized as I was going to do it, but I am going to add... Oh, where is the animals? Right. I'm going to add more cow's pens and stuff. Uh, or cow shed. I'm going to add them over here. And um, I, I, I'm going to leave them lined up, because eventually I will own this land, and we can go down the road with more cows. Um, but in this case, I have decided I'm going to go down this way. So, uh, so it looks like the back of the sheep pens needs a gap for the gate. So you have to, you can't butt them up against each other, which is weird because I totally did that with the cows. So I don't know. It won't let me do it now, but I used it, but I did it before. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're going to go, I think one, two, three flip it around and we'll go four five and six and then we just need all the basics to go with that so we'll just take the road and go up like that and we'll have power i think i think we'll have power on these eh, okay we don't we're missing power a little bit there so we'll just put this uh i think on the road is still a good idea and we'll stick it maybe like about here this is this is fine and then we'll just have these poles go along the road to hook up like like this there we go okay so all of these are now hooked up and if we can produce enough milk to keep these things moving all the time we're gonna be making some real serious cash all the way through the winter which by the way is in five days now we have some fields that are ready to harvest they could be harvested right now. We just have to get them done. And I'm wondering exactly how long this thing is going to go before it works. Um, is the combine coming? To... Combine should be getting returned, right? I think so, yeah. And then these guys can start working different tractors. I've got several tractors. So they should be able to use them, hopefully. Got one there. There's two here, and then there's another one in this garage. So I got four tractors. But I think the thing that's stopping this is, well, it says not enough staff. Maybe I need somebody else that can manage machines. Let's take a look. Can hire some more people here. Um, somebody that runs machines. We'll hire you, and I think we'll go ahead and this guy does machines and animals. That's pretty good. He's a little versatile. And, you know, I'm going to need a whole bunch more animal people anyway. So why don't I go ahead and grab you and then these animal people. One, two, three. And I think that's probably good for now. Okay. So for the cows, same thing as before. We're moving the cows in. We're going to buy four of them. And I'm going to load them up with all sorts of great food. That's all four. It's like this, right? What are we feeding the other cows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going to load them up with all sorts of organic food. Stick Georgia in there. And we, it looks like we can cover all of it. Yep. Okay. And then as so we let time run just a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and buy, I think, two cows for this and feed them the organic food. Let's get, see the two, I think the two animal people decided to run with the tractors or something because they aren't available anymore. I need one of them to be in here. Yeah, I'm not going to get the animal person in here. However, well, I can't, okay, let's, let's do this. I'm going to need this anyway before the winter happens. So let me pause it really quick. Let's take another house. 
I'm gonna need more people to live around here anyway because there's a lot more animals. Like, we're gonna be car caring for a lot of animals here. So, um, not the chicken coop, but over here on this side, we'll start a house there. There we go. And then all I need now is some staff to work here. For now, I'm just gonna put you there just so we can feed them. I don't want the cows to be forgotten or anything. All right, and now we need some more animal people. So let's grab, uh, mm. oh, winter's here. First frost is coming, end of field work. It's okay, we're gonna be good. Uh, give me an animal person here and give me at least one more. Well, I'll get one more eventually. I'm gonna put you in this one and we're gonna buy some more cows for this one. Let's get them fed the organic food as well. All right. So that many cows, at least for a little while, that should hold us over and we can hopefully deliver enough milk. Logistics covers the entire farm still, but I'm worried it doesn't have enough trucks. I don't know. Maybe there's an upgrade we can do for the trucks. So if I'm taking a look at, let's see, agricultural lands management, uh, reduces bills. Now that's kind of good. That's really good. We should probably start working at that. Hmm. Labor law training. Huh? There's all sorts of stuff you can do in this. Staff training hire, allows you to hire up to 150 staff. Okay. So there is a staff limit until you train for more. Got it. All right, then. So looks like... What's our priority for training here? Labor laws. Machine durability by 10%. We already did that one. Um... I kind of feel like reducing bills and stuff. Reducing the price of land is good because I'm going to start buying land. So maybe we work down this for a couple of t a couple of times just to try and get there. I think so. Now, normally we skip the winter and that's great, but I actually have some installations to do for this. So we're going to spend a little bit of time here rather than skipping the winter. It looks to me like... Um, did we not... We harvested all this stuff, right? Yeah, they're just plowing fields now. But the grass appears to be... Oh, never mind. I missed it. I thought the grass was still growing. Definitely not. Not in the winter. Okay. So the cows. Moo! Let's get... Let's see, there's three in there, four in there. Do I have any more animal people? Yes, I do. Okay, so you are going in here. And we're gonna buy, I think, three more. Make sure we feed them the organic food. And then we're gonna go through here, buy three more, use organic food here too, and assign you. Excellent. All right, is that good enough for now or can we do one more? You have animal skill. I can assign you here if I want to. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll buy three there too. All right, so when all those all those cows get in here, we should start seeing some serious milk production happening, right? And hopefully I can now fill up these buildings persistently all the time. It does look like we're starting to build up a supply of milk again, which is an excellent sign, but that is only because I removed one of the sheep, one of these from doing sheep's milk. So uh, it would be, I think, probably, honestly, the sheep's milk, it looks like it's holding its own. We might even be, I might have a good ratio here. I mean, you just add one more building for cow's milk at this point. But I like this. This operation is great, right? It's not like we, we don't have any, like, you know, we don't have a butcher or anything like that, right? It's, we're giving them all organic foods and everything. We're treating our animals right, right? That's what I'm looking at. And uh, I think that's, I think we're doing pretty good here. Um, these two people are really great at animals. I'm going to bring you in. And where did the animal person go? They moved. Oh, they're just gone. Well, this one's got beekeeping. We'll, we'll get that one. And... All right. So let me take a really quick look at our chicken coops because we really only have two coops now and they're maxed out on chickens. Good. Um, they're not... We don't have a great food for them, so we probably should look into maybe getting potatoes or soya uh, and maybe even growing corn. Even Corn is just like... Well, I don't know if it's OP. It's OP in the real world. But I don't know if it's OP in the game. Like, everybody grows corn, man. Corn is like that one crop that you guarantee sell 100% of your stuff every single time. 
Because the supermarket doesn't buy it, the government will. It's just too useful. That's what I was told by some farmer friends I had back in my hometown anyway. Like, far growing corn is just what everybody does. <laughs> at least around, around where I grew up anyway. Um, so we'll get at least five of these. I don't know if I want to go super heavy on the labor for the winter, but we'll at least get that many chickens. And then throughout the course of the winter, they might reproduce themselves. Reproduce themselves? Yeah, reproduce themselves. Because I started with five in each one, and these two are already at ten. That's awesome. All right, how are we doing We're over here? We got some love happening with the sheep. Yes, animals are breeding. Three animals. Three cows, three cows, four cows. Three cows, three cows, three cows. Okay, good. And we're all, they're all organic. Everything's organic. Okay, so this is our winter. We can go ahead and probably skip the rest of the winter here. And if I was to do that, monthly wages, look at this thing. Oh, I love the look of these numbers, don't you? Mm -mm. Man, that's some good money. Yes, skip the winter. Bam! We are up to $2.4 million. Oh yeah. Now I wonder, do the chickens reproduce throughout the winter? No. So you just flat, it's basically a skip of everything. You don't simulate anything about it. Okay, fine. Okay, now as long as my orchard didn't die, and it looks like it didn't, they're just hibernating. The trees are still there. Good, we're gonna have our apricots. What I'd like to get going this year, this growing year, which looks like we're actually starting to get out to the fields now, cool is I'd like to get some of the like, raspberries and things like that happening around here. So if I could, I don't know exactly how big I want this field to be, but I'm thinking we leave a space and um, maybe we go about like this and we could go maybe this big with it. Possibly. If I was to go this big with it, and I want raspberries, raspberries. Come on, down, 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 down. Uh, gooseberry, nice. <laughs> uh, where's the schnozberries? Can I, can I, can I grow schnozberries? No, oh, here's some raspberry bush. All right, so we're gonna get some raspberries going for there. And it appears as though we need everything except the planter. We need a, pl a new planter. Um, it's two by one. I can buy it, and I can stick it in a parking lot that's near the raspberries, which is right here. Right here, yeah. A new planter there. Okay, excellent. Now, we have since we have a local mechanic, I'm wondering if all of our stuff is just being constantly maintained. It looks like we order the mechanic if it ever falls below 70, and we repair it up to 90. Okay, that's how it's being done. I could probably say to repair it up to 100 on each of these, just to sort of delay the mechanic trip a bit more. So maybe we do that on things like the combine where if it falls under, you can fix it up to, let's say 100%. Again, just to sort of like, I don't know, stagger things, because it seems like everything is about the same percentage. At least it was kind of looking that way. This tractor, we can, you know, fix it up to 100. Uh, this one here, we'll fix it up to 99, and I guess it's 100. Yeah, we'll just do that. All right, so raspberries is what's gonna go in here. And we need roads, of course. Um, I'm gonna take and have like a road go like this and have the road go uh, from there to there. And then let's just have the dirt roads right there. Okay. And then the next one I'd like to get going on, we can make a little, yeah, we can do like a little road here between. Uh, I think I'm gonna go only uh, wind farm. I don't wanna get in the way of the wind farm. And speaking of wind farm, I think this is going okay for money production. Uh, we have less expenses, and it's making us more for money generation. So it's it's going nice. Um, I, oh, was, okay, that's strawberries. I, I saw up here that strawberries were dropping in price, and I kind of went, no. Spinach and sorghum is up this year. Okay, I don't have to I don't have to cater to market prices and stuff unless I you know like right now it says that the sheep milk is down 13%, but we're not selling sheep's milk, right? We're transforming it into the cheese. So I don't think that I don't think the price of the milk actually matters if you're if you're gonna process it. Yeah, and we we have we have more cow's milk now. Look at all that. Yep, we need another one of these plants. So I'm gonna drop another one uh, right here. Milk plot processing. 
I'm gonna drop you right here. Right on the main road right there. And we'll get you working on more cow's milk stuff. Okay, now can I get back to this? Um, I wanted to see actually really quick before I get to this because I know, I know raspberries are good, but it's the seed stuff is what I really wanted to do with it. And um, I'd like to see what's the highest amount of money I can make selling seeds. It was raspberries before. Is it still? Although it might have been ap apricot could have been the thing too. So raspberries are going to give us 127,000 a month as max as the maximum which is like the most you can get i think and you know it's starting to look to me like there's just nothing that even comes close to that yeah yeah like it, this is like by far and large the most you can make so i have decided i'll take this back um well he's already started work on it but i'm gonna go ahead and take it back oh i can't delete it when the work is in progress okay It'd be cool if I could somehow extend this field, right? Like, to change it and extend it. Um, but since I can't do that, we'll just make another one right next to it, I suppose. And I'm so indecisive. Like, I wanted to ex extend my power, but at the same time, I feel like I should do that in another tile, like over here. I think I can, if I, I can just move it this way. So, we, okay, that's, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to do this and... We'll say that this is all raspberries. Like, all raspberries here, okay? And, uh, let's see. How do we want to play this? For now, I think we're just going to go like that. Oh, like that. Nope, it won't let me. Just one, one tile, one road. Can't do it. All right. All right, we're going to move the field over then. Fine. And then we'll put this road straight down the middle like that. Okay, and this is gonna be raspberries again. The trick is, we have a whole bunch of raspberry bushes and stuff, and we can sell the raspberries, but what we also do, for, we get lots of yield from the raspberries too, but what we'll also do is convert some of that and, and generate and make seeds, right? We wanna do that too. Uh, looks like everybody's over here. I'm gonna need more employees. I think I need more people. Let's get plants, orchards and stuff, probably machines. Need a bunch of different stuff. Machines. That should be good. I don't think I need any more. I am going to need some more manufacturing employees for my new place over here, though. So why don't we get a couple more manufacturing employees, too? Let's grab... Uh, you're pretty good. And you're pretty good. And you're pretty good. At least those three. Possibly more. At least those three for now. Okay, so what I want to do with you is we're going to change you to the cow's milk. I could make butter, but this is still the highest producing thing. It's still the highest. Uh, we still make the most money with this. So I'm going to ch change it there. And then we're going to assign our manufacturing people. Unless they go off and do something else. Come on now. I think they went off and did something else. Well, it's okay. I can hire more. Okay, so we have another processing plant now that's going to take care of the cow's milk. And I think that that is a good ratio. I think for all the sheep, we have two of these guys working on cow on sheep's milk stuff. And two of these working on the dairy, uh, working on uh, cow's milk stuff. is a pretty good ratio. I like this. In delivery. What is this all about? Uh, no machine, orchard sprayer, orchard tractor. Not enough staff. Well... That's probably because we're using it somewhere else. I think we're going to need another orchard tractor. Because this is being used here. Yeah. I think so. All right. So, for another orchard tractor, I think we could put it up here. There's room here for it, I believe. So, why don't we go ahead and purchase another one? Orchard uh, tractor. We'll just buy it and place it. I wanted it in the garage. Is it in the garage? Here. Yep. In the garage. Whoa, this thing's small. That's much smaller than I thought it was. Okay. Um, take that back. We can put two of them in here. Not sure why I would need two of them in here, though. 
this one's available for these guys. And then we need another one down here, I guess. So, um, any room? Oh, yeah. It looks like there's... I just need one space, right? So, I think I buy another one. And an orchard planter, too, right? That was, that was the other thing that was needed for that field. Well, not anymore. Oh, what's this? Oh, you're not hooked up to power anymore, huh? Um, tell you what, it looks like I need another transformer. We can put you right here. We're gonna we're gonna want to cover this area. So if I put you here, oh, really? No electricity in building. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm putting. That's that's why I'm putting the transformer. Oh, it won't let me. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna need to buy the land anyway. Take a look at uh, research. And we want to reduce the price of land by 10%. Let's go ahead and train that. And then we can buy this land and this land. We can extend cows and stuff down that way if we want to. For the chickens, we should have, yep, uh, this is a tractor person. We need more, we need more animal people. At least one more animal person. You there. You're an animal person. This person also works in the orchards. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Get you in there. All right. What I want you... I want you to be in here. And then I want more chickens. So we're going to feed them just this for now. But I think planting-wise, we should have a big cornfield soon. And maybe some potatoes. So like over here, we could do some corn and stuff. As long as it's in range for this. And it looks like it definitely is. Is it weird, though, to have a cornfield next to the apricots and stuff? I don't know. Like, I don't think it really matters, but I just find this to be a bit weird. Oh, you know what? I probably should get my field size to be increased as well. So if I upgrade my building for $100,000, uh, large owner's house gives access to fields of a maximum size of 100 by 100. Let's do that. Now, this guy... This house, look at this, my god. It's not even a house at this point. This is just a facility, you know? This is like, this is a freaking facility. <laughs> All right, so now I can have this. Now the problem with this though, is that this is out of range of a new field. So I'm gonna need agriculture out here, access to water and stuff too. Um, at least I assume that that's the case. I don't know that, but I assume that that's the case. So what I could do is put a pump increasing access to water for irrigation. And this will give access to these fields um, really far away. So I think I'm gonna put that over here. And it's gonna be about, it's gonna be sound kind of weird maybe, but it'll make sense later. Right about here, I think. All right, let's bring this road all the way over to at least here. And then we're gonna bring a road up like that too. Okay. Now, the cornfield is going to be right here. And we can go much bigger now, like this. It's pretty big. And this is going to be our cornfield. So, actually, budding potatoes. 105. No, we want corn. Corn seed. Bio corn seed. Right here. 91,000 is all we make from this? Maybe we don't want corn. Honestly, the potatoes are looking better, aren't they? But we can feed the corn to the chickens and stuff and sell it. I think you can do that to the potatoes as well. Well, we can always do both. We'll most likely do both. 50 days growth time, 85 days growth. Wow. This is the big difference. Hang on. Let me just check out these chickens really quick. They can eat both potatoes and corn. Maybe we make this a potato field. Instead of corn. Because just straight up, we can sell it for more. I'm wondering if we can make things out of the corn, though. We can we can process things and, like, uh, we can make, like, corn flour and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the market price for corn flour? It's not going to tell me. But if I if I look at the buy section, maybe that will tell me. Corn flour. Uh, so corn seeds are ridiculously expensive. Okay. Corn flour organic is not bad. And then there's the corn. And then if we take a look at potatoes, 
the budding potatoes would just is pretty cheap and the organic ones uh, pretty cheap actually so corn seems like it's actually a better fit especially if we're going to do the seeds for it they, uh, that looks actually quite awesome so let me just go ahead and do that so bio and then corn seed organic okay so we got everything here other than staff we're going to hire some staff to work in the fields over in this section here too and uh, we're not going to do this oh hang on got my power facilities right next to it should be all right and I can hook it to this there we go running along the road there you go a little bit of clipping with that building shouldn't be too big of a deal okay this provides water for these fields okay uh, so the house right has been providing water the whole time that's why I haven't needed to do that yet but yeah we need access to water here and then I think I don't know if this is necessary either but it's not that expensive to install so I think I'm actually going to give access to water to all these animals here too. And we can put that um, probably right here. Right there, like that. And then um, I think this is in range of power, or at least it should be. So we'll take this gravel road and we're going to go a little bit like this with that road. Extra access. I don't know if we need it. It says it's for fields only. So it looks to me like it's not necessary. For the animals but i'd like to think that you would want some sort of water access for your animals so for the time being i'm just going to leave it but it looks like it's pointless all right let's check out the research really quick did we get that done yet 31 percent. okay i'm thinking with this many animals we're still selling our overage silage i'm thinking maybe we hold off on selling silage so wherever silage is, because I'm adding more animals now. So let's um, let's put a pin in that. Also, like to the commenters that were like, like seriously, I can have one. It's it's fine. <laughs> it's like I don't know what the point of telling me to make that zero is. It's it's not a big deal whether I have one or zero. But okay, there you go. Hope you're hope that satisfies you. Uh, and then we're gonna take and uh, whoops, I don't want that. We're gonna take and. Uh, I think we're going to use the straw. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one, actually. Because we're going to use the straw to make silage now. Yeah, okay. So now I need additional ones of these, too, for the seeds. So I want to have one of the... Not the greenhouses. I'm looking for... Ooh, do I need another... Do I need another logistics building? I realize this one is in range, but it's also only got four trucks. If I added another logistics building, I could get so much more done. And I could add it over here and uh, cover everything that we do over here now. Which I think this is a good call right here for another logistics building. We could just do so much more with it. Because right now being limited to four trucks kind of sucks. Although, we're also limited in how many employees can drive those trucks. So, I guess we'll just hire some people. <laughs> oh no, whatever. Uh, this house has some room in it. Oh! But I think I've reached my limit on how many employees I'm allowed to have. So now comes that research where we have to expand how many employees we're allowed to have. Okay. No issue. I mean, that might... Put a little bit of a damper on the whole truck situation, but we'll see. Maybe both of them will get used. No? We'll just have to see how it works. Cornfield is getting plowed. And I think I'll put another field over this way. And this will be sort of where potatoes can be. But it's barely. It can work. It can technically work. If I put the corner right here, it could cover it, right? So... I think that's how the new rules are. So I could put a field like say here as an example. And we can make this potatoes, organic potatoes. And then just get the road from this way, up this way and over this way. Okay, and then I guess probably you'd want it to connect here too. 
So we've got this nice grid. Yes, I'm warming up to the grid. <laughs> I'm definitely warming up to it. Um, I think another equipment depot and stuff over here, though, as we expand might be in order. Might be a good idea anyway. Maybe we'll just put in uh, garages. I think we'll put in parking. And I think we'll put it in the back here. So something like here and here. And on this parking spot, so what we can do is place some of the extra equipment that's needed for farming these. So like another plow would be a good idea to put that over here too. So we'll put the plow here. Um, I don't think we need another tractor, but just for the sake of it, I mean, are we using all of our tractors at once right now? No, like these, we don't have a tractor for this. Oh, we need people for these, don't we? Maybe this is where seasonal employees come in and they can do all of this by hand. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Not enough staff. We're going to fix that. I need research in order to fix that though, so... And how's that coming along right now, by the way? I think maybe I'll let this run. Yeah, we're reducing the price of the land. So I think maybe I'll let this run until we can get the one where it lets me make get more staff. So increases storage capacity, access to wind farming, rate of production should all be good. Uh, but what I'm looking for really is, if I scroll down a bit, these scroll bars should, on both menus, they really should be larger. But I think it's this. I want to train up to 150 staff. That's the one I need. And then um, we can start getting some of this stuff done too, some of the workshop stuff. I think, I think that's probably a rather smart idea. Uh, and then, again, you can train them to be better. I know that. Um, but like it never really meant anything. Like it's just spending thousands of dollars, which right now we have 2 million, but before I was struggling to like get enough money to place more pens that I wanted. Right. So it mattered more to me that I expanded my production than it did to have employee training, especially when I was most likely going to fire a lot of them for the winter anyway, because I'm replacing the seasonal employees since they can't do anything with the tractors. And it looks like one, two, three, four tractors. I'm going to get another one. I'm gonna get another tractor. I'm gonna put it right here. Uh, it's a Re Riga. No, I can spell. Yeah, give me one of these. And um, uh, can I put it in this garage? Actually, give it to me in this garage right here. There's no room for it though. Damn. All right. Man, I wish you could just. I wish you didn't have to do this. I wish it was just place it and then you could just move the camera to place it in any parking lot you want. Because this this process is irrelevant, right? I can choose this, but then I can still move over and place it here if I want to. I really wish that that was it. Like just, just say bye and then immediately go to this screen and let me place it wherever I want. It would be just a way better experience. But I do want to get the tractors and stuff inside a garage, so. I'll put this here, and then I think I'm going to build a garage just for the hell of it. And uh, we'll put that garage right here, let's say. Right on the edge there, like that. And then I'll probably, I'll probably place this in there. Uh, and then I'm going to need other stuff, like the manure spreader and stuff. We could totally use another one of these because we're using a lot. Right? We're, we're doing a lot of stuff like this. Um, we use manure for everything now. Where in the... It doesn't matter. Just... This is what I'm talking about. Just move to where you want to place it. Um, the manure spreader can go uh, over here, I suppose. And now it's, you know, we have it accessible. Uh, and then I'm thinking, like, do chickens and stuff, do they... It sounds... It may sound stupid, but sheep contribute to manure as well, right? I know chickens don't, but, like, sheep contribute to the manure too, right? I don't, I don't know. Cows, cows looks like, okay, they the bright part of manure there and then sheep do as well. Okay, I, I thought so, but it just, I don't know. When I think of manure, I think cows, you know, it's just do. Uh, you know, watch it, why don't we just, I keep thinking they're gonna reproduce on their own. I think I bought the fourth cow for this one. Yeah, I probably did. Okay, did we get this training? Yeah, here's done. So let's move down 
and see about it gives access to specialized training. That's cool. Breeding farmers training increases the level the production rate of milk eggs by 10% and unlocks the second level for chicken coop, pig sty, cow shed. Ooh, another level. Third level for buildings and stuff too. I like it. We'll, we'll go on that path too. Uh, I want this one first so I can train more, more staff. All right, so we're gonna do a lot more training stuff. You know, we'll do more research stuff, absolutely. But I, I mean, I, yeah. It's not like it's, it's one of those again it's not one of those things it seems like in a lot of games there's a lot of people out there who are really like they're really passionate about the games they play and that's that's awesome but i almost also feel like sometimes people put a lot of emphasis in things that really don't matter that much like as much as you think it does and and that's one of those things you know because like look how much money i have this is man, i I, I'm, I'm assuming if i wanted to go and make super super big it's just a matter of time you know uh, let's take and get orchard. I want another orchard tractor. I realize it's a lot of money. I'm gonna get another one anyway. And we're gonna put it inside this garage right here. Hmm. There's only one orchard up here though. It would fit better down here. It certainly would, right here. All right, orchard tractor's in here now. And now I just need more people. So I'm gonna let this run for just a little while. And uh, get all this stuff popping. I love it. And then, are we using the trucks? Mm, not really, but I feel like we will eventually. You know, as we keep moving through here, I feel like we're definitely going to be using these trucks more. Yeah, like we're we're using both. It, it's okay. I think there's the situate. There are plenty of times where there's more than five. Like stop. We have one, two, three. Hold on, one, two, three, uh, four. I think there's five. I thought there was five white trucks on the road at once. There totally is. Yeah, yeah, one here, two, three, four, five. So we're definitely using that extra capacity. Maybe not to the fullest extent, but it's certainly extending our logistics a little bit by having that building there. At least, you know, certain timings anyway. Okay, so it doesn't let me hire anybody. I'm at my limits. Let me take a look at my budget really quick. I'm certain it's great, but I just want to take a look at it. Okay, so yeah, we're, uh, we're doing great things. See this, guys? We're doing great things. I'm, I'm liking the direction of this farm, man. I'm telling you. It feels good, and it's a really relaxing game, too. This is definitely one of those games I could see myself streaming on a Saturday night. We do Twitch streams, by the way. If anyone didn't know, we stream on Twitch. Um, currently, we're doing some a lot of XCOM stuff on Mondays, uh, sorry, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But um, if you're into more relaxed stuff like this, more relaxing experiences and hangouts and just chatting and getting to know each other and me and whatever, um, these types of things, we do this on Saturday nights. Um, it's usually a really great opportunity for me to you know, just hang out with people on Saturday nights. All right, hang on. I think we're out of food. And I bet you it's wheat. I bet you that we're completely out of wheat. It looks like we are out of wheat. Um, can we change the sheep? Be peas temporarily. I think that's probably the best call because we have peas. Temporarily, let's do that. And we'll just, yeah, every single one of them, I guess, one at a time. All right, I got them all switched over to peas instead of wheat. That's a pretty temporary thing, but we have to harvest the wheat. And uh, well, we got a wheat field right here that's kind of growing, but I feel like we're gonna need more wheat fields and stuff. And so I think it's time to buy some land. Is there any are there any well hang on what's what's this what are you suggesting to me right now yeah yeah you want me to buy more wheat for 10 grand that's not that bad actually but i am growing it i think i'd rather grow it and use the peas that i grew so we're going to use those peas temporarily but now this is a big but mm, silent we're using how much straw do we have Okay, we have quite a quite a bit of straw. We also have a lot of silage too, so we're good. I'd like to buy land. 
So if I come over here, is there any other research that lowers the price of land further? It seems like that's the only one. All right, land is 10% cheaper. Fair enough. Okay, so let's um, take a look here and see if we can buy more. And I would like to buy, I think first I'm gonna buy this land over here near the wind turbines and get that going. Um, additional orchards and stuff. But I think back behind the wheat field, we can grow more wheat and stuff here too. So why don't we buy this one right back behind this? Yep, all that land is ours now. Oh, hey, yep, right there. Uh, and then one more uh, parcel here. I'm gonna grab the stuff over here by the wind turbines. Okay, so now I just need to connect these to the grid because we're not using them like we should be. And um, we're just gonna place this, I think like so, right up next to it like that and get it connected like that. Cool. Uh, and then I can actually go ahead and build more if I wanna offset my power even more and I kind of do. So I can go ahead and build, uh, I think I'll, I probably wanna add a little bit of space between them, right? It's pretty, pretty good idea to do that, I think. So like, there we go. Yep. Now, how long until these things pay for themselves? <laughs> I don't know, years. Decades. But they're cool to look at. And they are way too close together. But it works. So I'm using it. Okay, good. What do you need? No planter. You don't have the planter. I need to get one. Uh, okay. So it's a power, it's just called a planter. So let's grab a planter. Yep. We're gonna buy one of these. It's a two by one. And yep, it's gonna be here. We're gonna place it in this spot here like that. So at least there's an extra planter in the area they can use. I think the research is done. Are you gonna let me hire more people now? Pretty please. No? Oh, there it goes. It just finished. There it is. Nice. Uh, okay. Um, so let me get... Well, I, I want animals. So I'll get you some more animals. And I think I should have one more manufacturing too. So I'm going to grab you. And then the manufacturing, I want you in here. Oh, you're not going to... You're not available, are you? I'll hire them directly then into the job. Give me no manufacturing. Wow. I got I got animals. Hugo Lewis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Look at all the chickens. Yep, they all reproduced fully. Nice. So we'll get um, Hugo. Unless there's a better one. This one's fine. You, you're in here and we're going to go more chickens. And I want organic for now. I'm actually wondering how fast we're going through the oats. Because I'm starting to think... We got a lot, though. In the silos and stuff. Maybe you're not going through it as fast as I thought. You, however, have no more wheat. Yep, this mill. So maybe that's why it's recommended I buy it for now. All right, you know what? Let's do that because the, the the flower is good. We'll buy five thousand for the time being. And I'll have it delivered here so we can keep going with that. But I need to have more wheat fields, so we're gonna take and plant. And I think we're gonna go probably right along this. Um, hmm. You know, second thought, we can go right behind here, and then just go up. Like this. Like that. That's gonna be a wheat field. And then possibly one more, because I think we're gonna start blitzing through this pretty quickly. Um, we should do more oats. Well, if we do wheat, then we can have, and I think two wheat fields will be enough. I'm hoping, I guess the, the right word is, I'm hoping that two wheat fields will be enough for the amount of sheep and stuff that we have. And we're just gonna go, ooh, do I wanna do that? I think I wanna leave a space here. 
Let's bring this road up like that. And bring this road up like that. And we'll leave this little space here. And uh, how is access to water looking? It It's highlighting it green, so I guess it has water. <laughs> nice. This one here would cover it anyway, though, so we're, we'll be fine there. And then you cover this field. Excellent. All right. So we just need more tractors and stuff to handle this, and of course more staff. But if I put a, if I build a house for staff up here, then they can work all these fields a lot more. And we want lots of people who know planting up here, or, or maybe not. Maybe not planting. Maybe just all the people who know how to run a tractor really well, right? Yeah, I think so. I put an extra tractor in here too, because I think it's probably a good idea. Riga tractor. I'm gonna buy another one and stick it in in here where I wanted it, but I guess I can't. Stick it there, it's fine. And then um, everyone in here, I think I want machines. You are in here. You're in here. Um, manufacturing and animals. You're awesome. Um, I'd like you in a different house this one and then um machines i want to choose a house for you we're putting you up here yep and then another house another machines person you here okay so you guys can run tractors and stuff I'm living in this house so you should be managing all of this and if there's ever a field that says i don't have equipment i don't have equipment we need to see what that equipment is and purchase it so that we have excess because i would rather have extra like one extra plow that i don't need or one extra tractor that i don't need i'd rather have that than not enough honestly because i just feel like the smooth operation of the business you know what if one breaks down we, we can't afford to lose a crop or or to lose time or maybe one of them can't be harvested before winter by like a couple of days because we just had a delay with a tractor i'd rather just have it done i can make way more money just getting it done uh, okay, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. I'm thinking another orchard, maybe even more apricots, but I haven't seen these things actually grow well yet. And spraying anti-weed organic. Okay, these are organic apricots, so. Um, yeah, more people is all that's needed now, really. And then any type of, uh, looks like another water trailer would probably be a good idea. Probably in this area. Definitely. We have a lot of fields in here, so definitely. We'll put a water trailer here. And then what else do we need for this area? Probably um, potatoes planter, maybe not. Although I'm not really sure. I think it's all over there, right? That's the equipment that's sitting over there. I'm going to buy all of this stuff. I, I want this stuff to just be done. So we'll build, we'll buy that. And we're gonna go ahead and get this one and stick that over here in the garage. Too big for the garage. Go here. Yeah, there we go. And then this tractor, let's repark. Oh, you're being used. Somebody's coming to get you. All right, never mind. We'll park the, the big expensive stuff like the tractors and everything. We'll get make sure that that's inside the garage. But this is working well. It's operating like a smooth, well-organized machine, guys. Look at this. Huh? Look at our farm. Look at them all charging me money. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, if you could do me a favor and like the video if you if you did like it. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm, I've got lots more content coming this year. And, um, you know, I wouldn't want you to miss something that maybe would be interesting to you. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.